It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Mattis writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1818, recorded Thursday, February 11th, 2021. Clearly, it works. On this episode of the Gizwiz, have you heard of a lazy Susan? Well, we have a crazy Susan. Also, my second drinking gadget and your videos. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blowing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! now. You've heard of Jack Frost. Well, this is Jack Gadget, Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> How are you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Good. I'm doing great myself. Good. I have to thank Ivan again. I hope it's Ivan who did our opening over because it is so crisp and fresh. Ivan Hahn. Yes. Uh, I love oh, it. Excellent. Excellent. Love it. Love it. And um, how is life in Texas? Currently, it is cold, <laughs> cold, cold, cold. Um, and one second, I realize that my heater is going. I thought that fan earlier was from you. It's from me. Um, oh. It is currently. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, well, I'm freezing because my heater is <laughs> Sorry about that. You might no, that, no, find a okay. moment to do that later. Um, it is currently 27 degrees in Dallas, uh, which is obviously very cold for, for us. But on top of that, it is only going to get colder and colder up until Monday. It will be, the low is going to be zero degrees. <laughs> what? Yes. The high you know this? Is, is 14 <laughs> on Monday. So You, you beat <laughs> New York. We're gonna, it's going to be 17. I, I, I just don't, I don't understand it. And... Um, over, over the oh past my. few days, it, we've had freezing rain. It's all, it's all turned to ice. Um, there's a massive 133 car pile up where fortunately people have lost their lives in that oh my pile up. God, I mean, it's I just been that. insanity. It's been crazy. So if, if you didn't have uh, enough reasons to shelter in place, here <laughs> is just <laughs> another one. You will be frozen in place. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's God's way of saying you're not going anywhere. Exactly. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Well, now I feel crazy. like it's toasty warm. <laughs> right now, I mean, I feel like I could at least go put the trash out. You know, not that the trash is running. In fact, they turn that off. But, um, but you know, 27. At, at this point, I'm like, ah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Um, but yeah, that's been the crazy weather over here. Wow. How about you? The, you have, yeah. Well, you New York, they had, we had another snowstorm, but not so bad. But so far in February, what's it? February uh, 11th, we've had almost three times as much snow as all of last year. Oh my okay. gosh. <laughs> last year, it was something like seven inches of snow. And now in February, we're almost up to two feet. Uh, in Central Park. Oh, I, sent a, um, I sent you two different photos. I did find a second one. The, the great thing is the second snowstorm we had was a, amazingly wet, heavy snow. Yeah. And so all the trees, it, it just stuck onto everything. Oh, my God. And so I went out. Um, this is just like, actually, I'm a big train fan. And after dinner, as a little walk, uh, I walked down and I watched the uh, Amtrak to uh, Albany pass through Riverside Park, through the gratings. Uh, so on the way down to see the train, I took this picture. So it's probably about 7 p.m. Uh, and then I took another one in a separate email that I sent you. It's the same storm a little bit earlier in the day. And it was the same thing with the snow sticking in all the trees I mean, that is like accidental renaissance. So I don't know if you've seen that uh, community. that they, they post photos of like almost renaissance-like paintings <laughs> that oh. are, uh, you know, just 
so gorgeous. Here, one second. I'm getting the second one ready. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, um, here it, it it's, is. It's the only thing. The only part of it. Yeah, there's there's wow. during the daytime. Wow. It, it's yeah. It's really beautiful. That is no yeah. joke. Man, that's the only thing I like about the storm is the uh, when when the snow is heavy like that. That'll be us on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. Yeah, we have another mini storm, I think, on Saturday. And then they're saying there could be another big storm on Tuesday. I know what's going on this year. Uh, yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. Well. <laughs> very, very stay, in, stay inside, folks. Stay exactly. inside. Uh, and and both, those, uh, both those photos are from – I got a, a great I deal on photo. Woot. Um, it's an LG G8. Oh, wow. And we shoot all of our videos with the LG G7, which suddenly started acting weird, like <laughs> making a video and only half of the video had a soundtrack. So oh. I figured I, I, I can't play around with this. Um, and Woot had the uh, a one day thing on the LG G8 for two hundred ninety nine dollars. That's not and bad. Yeah, because uh, over the weekend I thought, what did it go back to? And it went back to eight hundred and forty nine dollars. Wow. So yeah. But this is fascinating. Did you know that there is an Amazon version of some phones, or at least an Amazon version of the LG G eight? And I'll tell you why. Uh, I love the LG G seven because it has a Google assist button. So you don't even have to say, you know, Hey, you know who mm -hmm. you, you, you just hit the button and the, that automatically turns the mic on the LG G eight has the same button and you hit it and nothing happens and you hit it. And I go, Oh no, is this broken? Anyway. So I just started Googling about it and it said, if you have, if you bought the phone through Amazon and Wood is uh, owned by Amazon. Yeah. Um, the Google Assist button has been disconnected because they want you to use their echo. own what it yeah, yeah. echo. Interesting. It, that's kind of crappy, isn't it? But it doesn't it doesn't activate anything. S lady. It's just, it's just it's you'd just think that it would go that extra step. An S lady would be able to say, oh, "Hey, you I think can you help." Would. You. Yes, 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 yes. But uh, yes. <laughs> It just does nothing. It Interesting. Does nothing. Huh. And the funny thing is I just bought a new case and I thought, oh, the case doesn't hit that button. So I took the case off and it still doesn't do it. And anyway. That's weird. That is weird. It's very weird. Very weird. Huh. Huh. Um... Well, cool. Well, let's maybe let's jump into some well, gadgets now. We'll go, yeah, we'll go. We'll take a look at my key ring episode. And here it is. Okay, so my key ring, I have a lot of keys between the boat and the office and the apartment. So my key ring was starting to loosen up and dropping keys. And I thought, I wonder if there's anything new in key rings. And I found these guys, and they're called the Lancer Keychain. Okay. Now, this is what's weird is it's in black. It's men and women. And it. When I bought it, oh, okay, it's eight ninety nine. All right, and then I keep looking around, and I find this over here, the Fruitway keychain. Two of them for nine ninety nine, and actually they went up when I bought it. It was one for eight ninety nine, branded one thing, and two for eight ninety nine. And I thought I just have to buy them both. To see if one is a knockoff. Well, I think these are the, the two that I paid eight ninety nine for. And the, 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 the one that you just get one for the same price, it does come with two extra key rings <laughs> and a gift box. <laughs> but these are, I think you'll agree, identical. identical. See, they have a little... Mark, I think it's the name of the company there, but all three of them have the uh, little identification there. Whatever, I can't even read it without a magnifying glass. So this is what's supposed to be great about these is that they're push button. 
okay, so that you push it and it opens when you slide it on a belt. Now, there's a way that when I do it, it catches your face, it catches a little bit of the skin under there. So I was worried that I was going to hurt my finger. And then I thought, I wonder if you could just push against it. We're going to come over here for a second. And so if you have a key ring or, or even a belt loop, we'll do it on a belt loop. You can do it the old fashioned way is just push up against it and it'll lock. And the same with this, just push up again. You don't have to use oh. the button. Uh, I, see. I think they're good looking. They're a little bit clunky, but they're better than the big uh, one that I had before. So if you're buying them, I wouldn't even bother telling you. The brand name, the Fruitway, <laughs> is the brand that you get two of them for a buck extra. You don't get these two extra little rings, but to tell you the truth, you don't. I don't think you need them. And they, they do hold a lot of stuff. And I carry extra stuff, okay? I carry my Inca pen. I carry my mustache brush. I carry my LED light, uh, instant on or on, on. There's a way to, okay, on, on, a little switch. The marina key is a special key to get through the gate. Uh, the front door key here is magnetic and, um, Anyway, so I do carry a lot of keys, and I like the way these look. Just beware that you could get your finger stuck in it, or <clears throat> got great reviews on Amazon. Let me just go up for here for a minute to the top and see what we got here. 72% um, five stars out of 452 people. So if you're looking for, I think it's an attractive keychain, just beware of the finger bit. And you don't even, as I said, you don't have to use this at all. That's it. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, they're, that is very kind of neat, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I think they're very nice. I'm, I'm glad it had that little. It doesn't lock, so yeah, you could just push into the. Yeah, yeah exactly, ring. exactly. You don't need the little push button. Right. But it is, it is strange that. Oh, and by the way, the the price. Went back to eight ninety nine, so you can right. get one for eight ninety nine, right? Here. Or two for eight ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, so definitely get the two. Get the two. Yeah, exactly. Unless you want that crappy little box. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I think, so. I, think I think we can deal with that. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It looks hefty and and good. Uh, I I would assume that it's gonna. Blast. Well, oh, the uh, one of them, one of the two of them um, in the description says, if it breaks within five years, we will give you a new one. Oh, wow. Interesting. So that's a pretty good uh, discount. I, 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 what, what, I just go back up. Well, the other one has a strange name, too. Young yeah, for one. Us. Young for Us Young Keychain. For <laughs> and then Young for this, Us is the one where you get two of them. Right. This one. Doesn't really have a name. Brand is oh yeah no it's Lancher. Lancher, yeah. Lancher. Ah, oh, that brand name, that good Lancher brand oh, name. Oh, you've heard that. It, even, name. it shows the box it comes in. You you can know what it what you get. Yeah. Um, there you go. Cool. So funny. I didn't even scroll that far down. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so if you're looking for a keychain, a rugged keychain for for under nine bucks. Yeah. Um, check Great it out. Option. So who's, right. this, who's this Susan, and why is she so crazy? Oh, okay, so I'm doing kitchen gadgets for ABC, so I was just looking for w weird kitchen gadgets, and I was searching on Amazon, and I saw this thing, uh, crazy Susan. <laughs> so I thought, I just have to buy this, um, and this is what it does. All right, you've heard of a lazy Susan. <laughs> For some reason, the company calls this crazy Susan. The company is Ucopia, and this is it. Actually, I like this idea because I have vitamins and spices on my tray, and when you turn it around, sometimes things fall off over the back, and then you have to take everything out to get it. So with the sides, you don't have that problem. And what's nice about this, it has inner handles. Use the inner handles, you pick up the entire tray at one time. 
But if you use the outer handle, you can just pick up one of the three individual trays. It has rubber feet so that it doesn't slide around. I'm, this is really good. This stays in place and turns easily. And it's about $25. It's Eucopia and it's called the Crazy Susan. And the box is a mess because <laughs> one of the few times Amazon just put a label directly on the box and sent it on. That's it. Nice. Now I understand why she's so crazy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, nice. Uh, also, I was kind of surprised that they put it, shipped that directly with a label because it, there's a lot of plastic there. <laughs> no. you know? You'll you'll order a matchbook and they'll 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 put it in a it in. yeah, a bubble <laughs> mailer and then yes, yes. this. I wonder if there's some internal thing behind the the side the behind the scenes where they ask the manufacturer, can we stick a label on this and just ship it? Oh, some, that's interesting. I just, that seems like something Amazon would do is as you're adding it to their database, they say, is this self shippable basically? Um, well, you know um, what I read? I read that often the box your gadget comes in is dependent on what else is in the truck because the truck is packed like Tetris. Oh, yeah. And so they need certain boxes to... Uh, oh, did you ever see that thing on 60 Minutes where they had some... I don't know who did it, but they found that if they didn't like put books with books, but just made it that anything could be stored anywhere. Oh, yes, I did see this. Yes, so so their shelves... The Amazon warehousing is in is just fascinating in general. One, a lot of their warehouses have it where the shelf will move to the person to pick it. And on top of that, when the shelf gets there, there's a little laser that like shines where you should be picking. So it's like, don't look all over, look right here for, for your little thing. And the shelves are not like all the books together. It's like, you got, you know, a toilet brush, a book, uh, you know, a stuffed animal, some spices. Like, it's just all just random stuff, which helps with picking. Because if you're looking for a book and there's a whole bunch of items that aren't books, you can just quickly be like, okay, well, that's what I'm looking for. But also, they can fit it in like Tetris. Yes, so it's every when they got thing. When they got done, they increased the warehouse space by 40%. By Insane. stacking, taking up every every bit of space on all those shelves. Yeah, it, it's it's really great. It's I, really I think great. It's fascinating, and uh, yeah. So anyway, back to Crazy Susan. Crazy Susan, amazing. Um, and the company makes a, a bunch of weird stuff. It might be if you scroll down a little. Oh no, ball bearings in, in the turntable, which oh, yeah, is good. Yeah. But they make uh, double tech decker. Oh, there yeah. you go. They make a double decker Susan that's height adjustable. I never heard of this brand. Also, who knew there were so many uh, lazy Susan variations? You can get one with <laughs> right. a tray so you can put stuff under it I and know. have the Susan on top. They were just like, listen, we want to control the entire market, yeah. <laughs> the whole market of lazy Susan devices. What an interesting brand. It looks like they're all about you know, like bathroom and kitchen organization. That yeah. Is clever. It, yeah. They have pot lid uh, holders. It's actually, it, it's actually a, uh, an interesting page yeah. to go to on Amazon. This isn't just some white labeling company. It feels like they're actually doing this. It's great. Um, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Nice. That's it. Eucopia. Eucopia. Okay. That's enough about okay. Susan. What's next? Uh, okay, so we're, we're sort of going back to the weather with my third gadget, and here it is. It's c c c c cold. It's cold in New York City, okay? It's below freezing. Um, so we had a tremendous snowstorm last week, uh, 18 inches of snow, very heavy snow, and high winds. And then on television, they warned for falling ice. So I'm not even sure where the ice fell from. But during the night, I heard a tremendous crash. The greenhouse, so this should be down this way and 
Uh-oh. Continue this oh way. This gosh. bent up. They all bent up. So the roof of the ho of the uh, greenhouse was so low you couldn't even walk into it. This broke off the building, okay? Uh, you can see here where all that broke. And that held up that little archway over the doorway. And then in between here, there was a, a big plastic passageway that you could walk through without getting wet. And all those, the connectors broke. So I thought, is there a quick way to repair this? And I, I, I thought, I wonder if there's a giant clear umbrella I could just put here. So I went on Amazon and I found the 62 inch, this space is 54 inches. I found the uh, 64 inch clear umbrella and I thought, will that just work temporarily until it gets warmer and we can rebuild uh, the rest of the stuff. What? <laughs> this is I can't even reach the umbrella, it's so small. Uh, can you see that in there? I'm <laughs> expecting... <laughs> oh, nope. God. It's not even... Clear. Is it black? It's black. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm laughing at your oh, misery. wait a minute. Is I, that I, the case? That. I... I am on? not happy about this. Uh, the wonderful world of Amazon. I'm just hoping that that's a big case over it. No, I don't think so. Well, we'll see. Um, well, you know, it's funny because now it looks a little bit bigger again. And... Oh, it is clear. No, it's not. It's gray. You're no, right. it's clear. <laughs> it's this has been no, a roller coaster. Gray. No, it's clear. Uh, okay, so let us see what a 64 inch clear umbrella can do. And it's a, wi it's a wacky plan, but it just, just might work. Exactly. All right. <laughs> You know, I don't think this is an automatic umbrella. Oh, I don't think anything no, more. anything this big is. But it is! Oh my god! You know what? It... I, I'll, I, after well, this, I'll show you why their weird way of measuring. It doesn't... <laughs> It doesn't reach both sides. I don't quite know how that happened. But my guess is for winter, I might just attach, hang on a second, I'm going to le lean over for Dennis. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this ladder up, tape this up like that so that until the winter's over, there'll be a way to run from here into the greenhouse and uh, survive. All right, so this was 20, uh, about 24 bucks on Amazon. And, you know, it does look sturdy, although it's a lot of plastic in here, friends. It's an awful lot of plastic. And it almost, it almost does what I wanted. But anyway, that's it. I will tell you in the notes the name of this umbrella. And I'll tell you in a couple of weeks if it fell apart. Or G4. I, I can see the logo here. It's G for free. I didn't, yeah. <laughs> if it's G for free, why did I pay $24? That's it. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So j just go to the Amazon page for a minute, and right. then I'll, I'll show you a little uh, update on it. So 
look at the diagram. Right. It's six foot. It's sixty-two <laughs> inches. If you measure up and oh, is that the most? You know, the circumference, like on the tangent edge. <laughs> so that's why. That's why it, it, it's, it's really it's inches. really a fifty-two inch umbrella. Right. Right. And that's why my my plan would have been perfect. Oh my god. If it gosh. was sixty-two, it would have sat on both things. Oh my god. And. But oh, I don't understand why I, this, I don't is, know. <laughs> this is. A is weird that image. the way umbrellas are, are measured? Am I missing something? I have no idea. Oh, and, and then check, go down to the prices. Here's another weird thing. Well, the prices here uh, for twenty two dollars, twenty two ninety nine. Yeah. It's clear. Now okay. for twenty three ninety nine, it's clearer. <laughs> clearer. <laughs> is that funny? <sighs> What? Clear? What? Twenty two ninety nine. I figured for another buck, I want it to be clearer. As clear as possible. Is, is what that on earth? The that most the, bizarre thing? That is weird. That um, is super weird. Yeah, this is... Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Anyway, uh, so I said to Dennis, oh, it's, it's going to be another snowstorm tonight. Let's quick wire this up to the ladder and we'll know if it's going to work or not. So here's a, a 40 second video of what we found when we got up this morning. Okay. So here is the update. One second. Sorry. I got to That's okay. Reformat this. Here we go. All right. We had snow again last night. <laughs> Look at my wacky plan <laughs> for the umbrella. It actually did <laughs> work it worked okay it kept snow off so you could walk directly from the house into the greenhouse so it wasn't so, as wacky a plan as i thought i think if it, if we got tons of snow it probably would have not worked as well but i'm happy with this that is funny yeah, and That's what we do so is we funny. put a um, if if it's above freezing or maybe like forty, we just put a a little heater in the greenhouse and we have lunch out there. So that's why it's sort of nice to be able to go from the apartment without rain or snow in your way. Yeah, that's so that, great. That can happen. But so the ten inch, or I guess is it. Yeah, 10 no, inches less. the 62 less, inch. The 62 which is really inch. a 52 inch. Yeah, which is really 52. Uh, it worked. We, you MacGyvered it to get it to yeah, work. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> and I have another workaround that I did in the greenhouse that I can do on the umbrella is I bought a couple of heat lamps. Hmm. And I just, with clips, put them on some stands up toward the top of the uh, greenhouse. And that kept melting snow as it fell down. So that kept some of the weight off the greenhouse. <clears throat> it did not affect the giant ice blocks <laughs> that <laughs> fell and crushed the greenhouse. Boo. So, uh, anyway. Very cool. Very, very cool. Should we jump into the crappy <laughs> corner? Yes, and your new, your new February theme. Let's yes. do it. You Here we go. You don't need it. But you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. <laughs> get it. Got it. And get it. So I kind of teased it last week, uh, but this theme is drinking. And I've been using the gadget on the show for the past two weeks. I recorded a video about it. So let's check it out. Hey Diggy Dees, so here we are with another crappy corner and this month's theme is drinking gadgets. Now this is probably not going to be in the crappy corner or crappy category of my crappy corner. This is the Hydrate Spark Steel. They also make another version of the Hydrate Spark which uh, is, doesn't include this metal casing. So what this is is a smart water bottle and it will track how much water you drink throughout the day. I can give a little demonstration. You just open it, it has a connected cap. After you take a drink, after a little while, once it's been resting on a surface, it will notice the weight difference and then it will glow just like oh. that. And there's six different glow types that you can choose from. 
Um, so it uses weights to determine how much water you you have consumed. So at the bottom, there's a little puck, which you can take out. And this is the brains of the whole operation. This doesn't really have any other sensors in it. In fact, uh, you, you know, you could wash it and whatnot. I think it says to hand wash the bottle and you can machine wash the, the cap. Um, but this will tell the weight. It has all the LEDs included. And then right up here is where you charge it. It does have a proprietary charging connector, which is magnetized. I, I kind of wish that was like a normal, just USB type of charger. But once it's all charged, by the way, charge lasts for a very long time. Uh, I saw reviews mentioning about two weeks. I charged it when I first got it and I haven't had to recharge it. Uh, and then you can also recalibrate it inside of the app if you know something changes. I got mine off of apple.com, uh, which is kind of interesting, uh, for $70, $69.95. You can also get it on Amazon for about $65. Now, the reason that I went with Apple was not only did they have the color that I wanted, this black matte, um, but the Apple variety comes with two different caps. So if you're searching on Amazon, you're gonna have to choose between the straw cap and the chug cap. So currently I have the chug cap installed. Um, here is what it looks like from Amazon. So here you can kind of see, this is the chug cap. The straw cap, which I should be able to open up here, it actually comes with a reusable straw, so you can reach down to the bottom of your uh, hydro spark. And here's the cap itself. And so this kind of has a different opening mechanism where the straw portion comes out. Oh, and this is basically, nice. you know, with the straw attachment, you could just, you know, consume your liquid without actually tipping the bottle or anything like that because the straw reaches all the way down to the bottom. Um, I didn't really love the mechanism quite as much. It's not like spring loaded. And so I really liked the chug cap where you have this button on the front that you just push in and then the top sort of pops out. It also has a locking mechanism. So if you push it down and you see that orange indicator, then it's locked. So it can't be open and you have to push it up and then it, uh, it'll open up. Let me show you the app. So here's what the app looks like to give you an idea of what's going on. This indication is where I am throughout the day. That little indicator is where I should be so that you can think of it as like a goal marker. And if I take a drink, you can see that currently it is connected to the hydrate spark. And after a while, it'll say sinking. And then at the same time, this will glow. So there you go, it's glowing, it says sinking. And then you'll notice that the uh, the ounces, you know, increases. So it does do that in relatively real time. The bottle does have a memory, so it doesn't need to be directly connected to your phone at all times. It just recommends in the instructions that you bring it close to your phone, you know, a few times a day. Um, so you have uh, your home, you also have your history here. So you can see I'm pretty far behind. It asks you what time you wake up and what time you go to bed. And so I wake up about 7 a.m. And so if I was doing well, I would be basically on that line. Um, you can also see sort of your monthly activity. So you can see these days I did really good. I, I was so close uh, over there on Monday and yesterday I didn't do so great. So this is a great way to kind of uh, tell you know how, how, how you're doing. Over here you have your bottle settings. So this is where you would change uh, the colors. You can also click this just to glow it. Like maybe if you're looking for it, you can actually just hit it and it will it'll glow. And then also you have the six different colors that you can choose from. Now six may seem a little bit limited and that's because they try to upsell you on this glow studio, which would <laughs> allow you to change it to whatever color you want. You get two different colors, it goes between them. And as you can see, that's a $5 purchase. So you get those six colors and that's it. Um, and you can see the colors here. You can go to a full rainbow. It takes a little while for it to send it to, uh, to the thing and it'll kind of show you an indication. You can also change the glow settings to be longer, shorter, sort of have a different um, animation. So once those are done, and then we can hit cancel there. So I could come over here and I could change the bottle name, change the glow colors, or I could recalibrate it uh, and whatnot. And then like here are the settings for like, if I wanted to snooze it or if I wanted to uh, set reminders, you can do all sorts of reminders are kind of like, hey, or behind your in your goal and whatnot. You can also add friends and it'll track it 
on your uh, dial here. So their little indicator will show up where they are throughout the day. And so in general, it's a very, very well laid out app. So that's it. So $65 um, on Amazon and you have to choose, and that's the 21 ounce version. They come, there's a 16 ounce version as well. Um, there's also the Hydrate Spark, which is not the steel. So here's the steel, here's the Spark. The Spark is plastic and less expensive. That one's only 60 bucks. Um, so you have, I, I feel like it's a fairly, it's expensive, but I don't think that it's that expensive. Um, this one is plastic and the little module has a stick down the middle of it so that it'll uh, glow throughout the whole bottle and that's just a plastic bottle. Um, so there you go. That's and, the, and Chad, does the, bottle, does the bottle tell you what your goal is depending on the info you input or do you set your own goal? You set your own goal. Um, oh. they, they have, they kind of ask you a questionnaire and so they'll, they'll do both. So, you know, how old are you? How active are you? And it'll set your ounces. But you can also set your own goal. Um, and then on the bottle itself, there's no real indication on how far along you are. It will do this little LED dance once you've hit your goal, um, which is a little bit longer, but some a lot of times I'm just kind of ignoring the bottle um, and whatnot. One thing to mention is whenever you refill it, it will glow a different color. So if, you, if I refill it, mine will glow blue, kind of letting me know, I notice that you've filled me up instead of taking a drink. Oh. Um, and you have to remember to keep the cap on whenever you refill it, otherwise the weight will be incorrect. So there's oh, kind of this little dance of like making sure that you are you don't set it down until the cap is on and it's fully filled, and then you can like set it down and let it notice that, uh, that it's been uh, filled. I think the app is also on Android, but I did not check to okay. make sure. And, and is there some insulation there? Will it, it keep water colder than? Yes. So it is. An, so the steel is an insulated bottle um, that sort of double insulation, which is oh. really quite nice. Um, and then the Hydrate Spark Three, I think, is just like a plastic, so it's not quite as insulated. And Captain J, it is on Android. I can see it on their website now. It says to download the Android app. Um, so yeah. Okay. Uh, that's, that's now, if you that. wanted to carry something else in it, like coffee or something. Yeah, they mentioned that it shouldn't be like crazy hot, but okay. but you can put warmer liquids in it, and in especially in the steel, in the Spark Three, this plastic one, not so much, but the okay. steel is more for hotter liquids, and I've done that. I've put tea in it and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and it's twenty one ounces, which is you know a good amount. And also That's one thing that I really like is it's. It's thin. It th doesn't seem like that great of a feature, but it means that it fits in all of uh, my cup holders. So, you know, the cup holder in my car, it's going to fit in it. It's not too wide to um, not fit into the car cup holder. Does an um, alarm go off if you put in alcohol? <laughs> no. Uh, it has no speakers. One alcohol, thing that I <laughs> do wish that it had was an ambient light sensor. Because it has been like 4 a.m. and I'm like, oh, and I oh. take a swig and it's really bright at like 4 oh. a.m. I oh. wish that it did change the color or the, the brightness based off of the surroundings. Um, and it does also, it, also, it does have a snooze feature that's not an automatic thing. I kind of would, maybe that, you know, an automatic snooze feature would, would fix my problem. Um, I didn't really, you know, I haven't really thought of a good use for it. You could snooze all the glowing for like three hours or whatever uh, if you want. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it seems um, like it has a lot of features. It does. I mean, it's very well thought out. Apparently, this is uh, when I started looking for a smart, um, smart water bottle. There was like, this is it. This is like the thing, and so. They seem to have really made such a good product that there's not a lot of competition for a smart <laughs> water bottle. So um, I've been very happy with it and obviously using it for a little bit over a week now and uh, couldn't be happier. 
Excellent. Excellent. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Our email is from Angela Newhook, and it's all about Toasty Paws, P-A-W-S, and this is what they are. Interesting. Hey, Dick and Chad. After watching Dick's episode a few shows ago on um, uh, the USB uh, keyboard hand warmer, I thought I'd show you these that I picked up at Showcase here. Uh, it's, it's an ASC on <laughs> TV um, show or store here in uh, in town, Darkman, Nova Scotia, and um, these are called Toasty Paws. Piece of toast. <laughs> it's Paws, adorable. Guess, for your hand because they're individual. You just slide your hand in like this, and they're for mainly if you're typing at your keyboard. But I just you can kind of you can plug them wherever you please, really. But I just uh, and you just plug them in either the USB where there is it. USB port, or you can put an adapter on the end, like what I have here, and uh, plug it into an AC, any AC plug. They're great things, and man, they really do heat up real nice. There's no adjustment on it, so it's like once it heats up, <laughs> it just it stays hot. There's no adjustment to it. The man, they keep your hands nice and comfy, and oh, nice and soft. Hi, Rady. Oh, there's the other one. Okie dokie. Bye. That is adorable. I love it. They're, they're very cute. Uh, let <laughs> me just are. see. Uh, Angela says, the store I brought this from is one of my favorites because they have a lot of fun stuff. I forgot to mention how much it cost. I think it was around $20, uh, Ange. And and I found them on Amazon for um, actually, oh, actually, actually. they're $18. But it seems like you just click that coupon, you'll get yeah. 20% off. So it's going to be go. like like fifteen bucks or so. Yeah. Oh, but they, they are they're very very cute. <laughs> they're so adorable. USB powered uh, hand warmers. And, and because they're USB, <laughs> you can just if you out and about throw it on a battery. You know, just a rechargeable. Ab absolutely, anchor. absolutely. Yeah. That's that's a, a a great use for them. So and you'll be getting the April issue of Mad Magazine that I had here a minute. Oh, here it is. Da, da. You'll be getting this issue of Mad for sending in your warehouse video. And as I said, I believe I have 17 pages of material from the past uh, in that issue. Uh, so we have a couple more videos, but we're always looking for more. So if you can make a little video, anything to do with the gadget, uh, one to three minutes. And like Ange did, just horizontal and see the gadget and hear you speak. Uh, if you live in the U.S., you get the Mad Magazine. If you live anywhere else in the world, I'll autograph a 39-year-old Alfred E. Newman picture to you, and then I'll we send you a high-res image so that you can print out at your end. So it goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. And with that, let's move on to the letter. Uh, Lois Scott writes, you talked a couple of weeks ago about a Kara coffee maker, but you haven't reviewed the most different and interesting one, the Presto My Joe coffee maker. It's a single cup coffee maker used off the grid, works without electricity or batteries. Oh. Perfect when my husband and I go camping. And wow. she explains it comes in three parts and it uses regular K cups. I, I did not that, realize that. I was like, okay. So no, it's like and a, she said there's also ah. a satisfying, uh, you you fill it with hot water, you uh, push the plunger, there's even a satisfying gurgle sound <laughs> like the regular Keurig machine makes. I hope you find this interesting, as I do. Keep up the good work, guys. Lois Scott. Well, Lois 
I, I ordered one this afternoon uh, because I was looking for letters for tonight's show and I read your letter and I thought, oh, you know, I got to make a video about this because it'd be fun. Um, this would be like great for the boat where you you can't go down there with a Keurig machine. Yeah. Uh, so I bought one and, and um, as early as next week, I will review it. Yeah. Uh, so Lois, thank you so much for fun. I am amazed that none of us. Saw I know. Before. Yeah, oh, how, does how did this it looks like it, it looks like us. it can take a K cup or you can make it with your own grind. Yeah, it, it looks like that little cup comes with it because I've seen a few photos of that um, that little cup. So yes, yes, yeah, this is so cool. I just love that it's um, you know it's it's oh <laughs> somebody had an accident <laughs> there. I just love that you know you wouldn't have to rebuy coffee. Um, if you already had investment, you know, in your K cups, that you don't have to get something special for when you go camping. You just throw your favorite coffees into. Right. You know, well, you your still need box. hot water, but you could yes. make hot water over the campfire. Totally. Or just take one of those in a hotel room. This would be great in Vegas. In Vegas, like the hotels, uh, the morning cup of coffee is four fifty. Right. Uh, right. So. Right. You, you, uh, I, I haven't seen the physical size, but it looks like it's going to be not bigger than, you know, more than a, a cup and a half of coffee. Uh, be a perfect thing to take along with one of those little AC uh, water heaters. So make the uh, heat the water. Well, we'll see it. I'll, I'll do it next week. Or right. With it within the next couple of weeks. Uh, and, you so know, Lois, TSA you does that. not like those uh, Keurigs going through the scanners. They're just not appreciative. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect this is great perfect perfect thanks for that letter also this huge thank you to not our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz you guys make the show happen thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for your support really appreciate it if you like the show please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz uh if you uh, want to, you can give via Patreon, or we have another way to give. Gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and then there's a PayPal link there if you want to give via PayPal. However you give, I want to say thank you so, so, so much for your support. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, you can head on over to gizwiz.tv to watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. When we are live, the website just updates to show us there. And there we are. If here, uh, hit play, there we go. There we are. That's us. You can join the live stream just below, or you can subscribe for future videos. YouTube, iTunes, we got some RSS links, or of course our website has all of our videos there as well. If you want to learn more about the gadgets that we cover on the show, head on over to gizwiz.biz. It's Dickie D's website. He writes up fantastic articles about all of the gadgets that we cover. If you see something there, just read on about it. He's got all of it. Also play What the Heck Is It? This is where you have to identify the gadget that is in this photo. That is the entire gadget, not just a piece of a gadget. And um, I mean, I, I just this is this is uh, obvious to me that uh, these are um, some dentures for Iron Man. Uh, so if you think you know what these are, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. There are six Mad Magazines for correct answers, if you can correctly identify this gadget. But 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, and interesting answers. So get creative over at gizwiz.biz. I think that about wraps it up for our show. Next uh, Thursday will be the 18th, and that'll be the oh. closest to the anniversary of the Gizwiz which will be our 15th year. Holy moly. And it'll be our 200 and I believe our 298th independent show. Oh my gosh. The tw the <laughs> first Gizwiz was uploaded on the 20th. The 20 uh, February 20th of 2006. <laughs> 
Oh, oh my gosh. That's crazy. Uh, is that amazing? Who would have thunk it? That is insane. 15 years. Uh, 15 years and a lot of gadgets. A lot of crap, but a lot of fun stuff and a lot of laughs. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.